Hey, Droopcubers and fams, it's Drew. Welcome back to my California Pickin' channel, uh, YouTube channel, and I'm out here at Westwood Memorial Cemetery. It's August 5th, 2022, and it's the anniversary of Marilyn Monroe's passing, tragic and untimely passing, and I'm here with two friends of mine. It's Brandon and Jade. Hey. hey guys. And they are the, yeah. 16th anniversary of my mom's friend. Yeah. Their mother was Jeannie Carmen, the actress uh, who was Marilyn's friend. And uh, they've been on many shows, or she's been on many shows many times. And, and I was just talking to Brandon about the whole issue about her mother and being on Geraldo. And we were talking about Geraldo saying that your mom was was with Marilyn's best friend and right. let's so, let's yeah, go I into it just like make this totally clear to everybody I the in the late 80s 2020 ABC News did this massive investigation into the death of Marilyn Monroe and they sent a whole crew out to Los Angeles they called my mom they brought her up they interviewed her on camera and then they took her around with them as they interviewed all these other people, like Mrs. Murray was still alive at the time. Oh. My mom was with them when they interviewed Mrs. Murray. Mm -hmm. When they interviewed Walt Schaefer, who owned the Schaefer Ambulance Company. When he sat down on a film interview and said that one of his ambulances was dispatched to Marilyn's house that night. She was alive. His guys resuscitated her. They put her in the ambulance. They were taking her to Santa Monica Hospital and she passed away on the way to the hospital and then she was ordered, they were ordered to come back and that's when the cover. started and they put her body back in bed into a different room I, I'm, yeah I don't know about that but, um, but it was her bedroom right well she was found first in the guest cottage mm. and then she was actually found in her master bedroom which right wasn't she was put in her master bed which wasn't well furnished at the time she was right. waiting for a bunch of furniture to arrive and springs and a mattress that's right Floor. Right, with a little dressing yeah, table yeah, with and a little dressing table and a bunch of dirty and <laughs> yeah, and pill bottles. By the way, with yeah. all the caps yeah. put back yeah. on the bottles. Exactly. Now, if Marilyn was really going to commit suicide, do you think she would have done that? Tubes. What do you think about the Kennedys and Marilyn, Bobby Kennedy? She really wanted to be the first lady. What yes. do you think happened that night? Because you spoke to her just before what? Oh, before her death is around 9 30. 9 30? Uh -huh. And she died when? Well, they put it between 12 and 3. God, somewhere. just like an hour, two hours mm -hmm. before? And she How was her not, voice at that, that time? She sounded you. fine. She was, uh, the uh, week before, she had been very nervous because she'd been getting a lot of crazy phone calls from a woman calling right. her all kinds of dirty names. Some woman? Yes. And she could, she thought she knew, I mean, she recognized a voice, but she couldn't put a name on it. And she was nervous about that, but she had no sleeping pills when I talked to her because she, her, she was as clear as a bell. So, uh, and where did she get them? She couldn't have. You believe she was murdered? Oh, I absolutely think she was murdered. You're saying that word absolutely, so quickly. Jeannie Carmen, you're sitting there telling me you believe Marilyn Monroe has been murdered. Mm hmm Absolutely. You don't think she overdosed and forgot the pills? Well, what would she overdose with? She had nothing to overdose with. She called me for sleeping pills. So you gave her some sleeping no, pills? No, I didn't. I didn't. She, I didn't. she used to call you? I didn't have any. I used to, yeah. Yeah, so she'd give me pills, I'd give her pills. We were both addicted to sleeping pills. Did she tell you a lot of 
her secrets, inner secrets that nobody knows out there about her. How yes, she feels. but you're going to have to get that from that, my from book. Your book. I finally decided to um, write a book. Hey, <laughs> Jeannie Carmen, I'm going to let loose with some I things. love this picture of you. It's dark hair. Look how sexy. Good God. Wild Animal. I love that. What movie was that in? That was a wild film. I can't remember. I think it was Untamed. Did you do a movie with Mamie Van Dorn? What yes, was that? I did. Untamed Youth. Untamed and, uh, About the Red Book. What do you mean by the Red Book? The Diary. The Diary, yes. She had a diary. Yes. Did you, did yes, you she, see it? Oh, yes. Of course I did. She used to write in it all the time. In but front not of you? To be in front of you? Oh, sure. But not to be malicious. I see. She was just keeping up with uh, stuff that Bobby said, hoping to get more informed, uh -huh. hoping to be able to be able to converse with him in a, a nicer, easier way. She kept everything, stuff about Hoffa, um, you name it. it was Peter Lawford, too. I had to come out here to pay my respects to my beautiful Marilyn Monroe. You guys know that I'm really into Marilyn Monroe. I've done a lot of vid videos on her and her associations with the Kennedys. And supposedly Bobby Kennedy, there are witnesses that say Bobby Kennedy was in LA that night and that he was seen here at Marilyn's house twice, once in the daytime and once in the evening. Sorry, maybe that is his spot. He looked fantastic. Oh, I love that.